Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to discussing about rules of abstract method, rules of abstract class in Java. Our concept name is rules of abstract class in Java language. First, let me explain this concept everything through programmatically. Now, I am taking here one notepad. First, let me take one class. Class name is AC. Yes. Now, let me save this class AC dot Java. Now, let me compile this program Java C AC dot Java. This is normal class, not abstract class. The intention of the abstract class is already I told you. It can provides force, it can provides abstraction layer as well as what implementation also. Nothing but abstract class will provides abstract layer by using abstract methods. Abstract class will provides implementation layer by using concrete method. Nothing but abstract class is the combination of abstract method as well as what concrete method. Now, class AC. Now, here if you are writing like for example, if I am writing like abstract keyword in front of the class, that class become a what? Abstract class. That class become a abstract class. So, let me save this and let me compile this program. Successfully compile. So, class means it is containing only one keyword class, but abstract class means we need to write what here? Abstract keyword. So, the first one is before class keyword, before class keyword, we need to declare abstract keyword. First one. Second one, abstract class can participated in abstract class can participated in inheritance either through class comma either through abstract class comma either through interface. Now, observe here, I am taking one interface, I am taking one interface, I am taking one class one more abstract class, I am taking abstract class uh, AC1. Now, I am taking one class like A. I have one interface and one abstract class and uh, another class. Now, class AC extends of what here? AC1. Class AC extends of AC1, nothing but one abstract class can able to communicating with another abstract class. In the same manner, that abstract class can able to implements interface i at a time. Now, let me compile the program java c a dot java successfully compile. Now, but do not try to write class name here. If you are writing class name here, it will get uh, compiler will giving what here error that is the part of multiple inheritance with the help multiple inheritance we cannot develop in Java through abstract classes as well as what here classes only through we can develop uh, with the support of what here interfaces. Yes, that is the one point. No, it can able to work with the classes also if you deleting a c1 now it is working with the class. So, let me write Java c AC dot Java successfully compared nothing but abstract class can able to interact with the other classes, other abstract classes as well as what here interfaces also. Next one in the abstract class, we can able to write, we can able to initialize and declare variables. See why I am highlighting this point. If it comes to the interface, we can able to initialize the only variables, we cannot uh, declare. But if you comes to the, if you comes to the abstract class, 
we can initialize the variables and we can declare the variables. In the interface, we can't write any private variables and protected variables, but in abstract class, but in abstract class, we can able to write, we can able to write private and protected variables, private and protected variables. Now, in the abstract class, we can, in the interface, we can't. Now, here I am writing like a public int c and private int d and protected and protected int e. Now, observe here, clear the screen and java c, ac dot java, yes, successfully compiled. Now, java p, ac dot class. Now, by defaultly, interface variables are what type public, static, final, but here, whatever the syntax written by the programmer, the same syntax is taken by the abstract class, compiler not converted into any other type. Now, we can write abstract method, this is what your wide m1, by defaultly, interface of methods are what type, public, abstract, but uh, abstract class, but abstract class, not public abstract. So, if you want to write abstract method, we need to declare, we need to declare one keyword. What is that keyword? Abstract. And here, we can able to write what? Methods. Which methods? Concrete methods also. We can able to write concrete methods also. Next one. If you want to write the private methods, we can. If you want to write the protected methods, again we can. And if you want to write the final methods, yes, we can do this. And if you want to write the static methods, we can public static wide main, wide main, what is this? String array, yes. Now, I am writing like system dot out dot print ln. Yes, this is extra class clarity of output now let me compile this program clear the screen java c ac dot java everything is successfully compiled that means we can able to write private protected default and public and final as well as static methods also and one more thing is we can able to abstract classes we can able to compile as well as we can able to executes. If you want to execute the program from Java 1.7 onwards, what we required? We required main method. So, main method we can write in the abstract class, we can compile as well as what here, we can execute. Not only these methods here, we can write, we can write blocks, static block, we can write non-static block, we can able to create uh, constructors, nothing but you, we can able to write constructors also, java c, ac dot java and java ac. So, whatever the syntaxes we are writing in the class, the same syntax we can able to write within the extra class also, but the extra class having extra functionality, what is that? It can able to hold abstract method, whereas class not holding. Now, let me write, we can able to write, we can able to write abstract and concrete methods, concrete methods. Next one, what the next one here by default abstract class methods are not a abstract. Whenever we write, whenever we write abstract method in abstract class we need to declare that method, that method as abstract, that method with abstract method, abstract keyword, yes, that is one point. Next one is, we can able to write, we can able to write private, next one is protected we can able to write private, next one is protected, next one is public, next one is final and static, static, private, public, default, 
default we can write default methods we can write we can able to write here I am writing here we can able to write methods no need to write here again yeah next one ninth one the ninth one is we can able to write we can able to write static non-static and static and non-static blocks and constructors also we can able to compile and execute abstract class program individually by using main method yes now one more important point very important point here the important point is we can't instantiate we can't instantiate we can't instantiate the abstract class nothing but we can't creating an object for abstract class now let me go and check let me go and check here ac obj equal to new ac let me compile the program no need to go for execution ac is abstract cannot be instantiated what is the meaning here we can't create an object for we can't create an object for abstract class but we can create reference but we can create reference so let me show you ac obj ac obj now successfully compile and execute so we can create reference what is the use of the reference what can we do with that reference we can't instantiate the abstract class but uh, but we can create but we can create of but we can create a reference so what we can do with the reference with the help of with the help of abstract class reference variable referenced variable with the help of abstract class referenced variable we need to hold its a subclass its a subclass memory or its subclass object these are the very very important points which we have related to abstract class let me repeat it one more time a class must and should be starts with the abstract keyword and it can be able to making a communication with the class as well as what here abstract class as well as what here interface and we can able to instantiate the variables we can able to uh, initialize the variables we can able to declare the variables we can write public private protected methods we can write both abstract and concrete methods we can write uh, different types of methods we can able to create main method we can compile and execute we can write blocks and constructors but only thing is what here we can able to create reference for to hold the subclass memory but we can't create what here object so these are the rules of abstract class I hope you enjoy these rules of abstract class. For more videos, please subscribe to my SIT channel. Catch you in the next video. Thank you.